So today we want to be led by the Lord pastors. Amen. Yes. It is my prayer that the Lord will use me again. The Lord Jesus will use my words, my mind, my heart that he might speak to you something very particular. Amen. Child of God the Bible says For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Pastor, now you know what Jesus is. Mm. Jesus is the word in flesh. Yes. Okay. So if Jesus is the word in flesh, then the question is can we re-see that verse for god so loved the world he gave them a word wow yeah so if you are loved by god mm. <laughs> yes if you're loved by god if you're loved by god then that means that there is a word that is coming yes. to you yes 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 yes, yes 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 the presence of a manna in your life the presence that you are a group of people that are well fed by the lord that you are a group of people that receive strong information into your spirit week after week that you're not receiving stale bread you're not receiving bread that was frozen you're not receiving bread that is recycled that you're receiving fresh word from the lord yes yes thank you jesus is a sign that you are loved greatly by the lord amen thank you jesus so at home you can celebrate celebrate you, celebrate jesus. celebrate yeah, celebrate lord, celebrate, celebrate celebrate thank you Jesus. And what you celebrate shall multiply. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. Amen. I see you. I see you. I see you. I release great shalom to you this Thank morning. Amen. Please if you can go to Joshua chapter 1 and let's read from verse 1 onwards. Yes. Joshua chapter 1 starting in verse 1. Hmm. Now after the death of Moses the servant of the Lord it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua the son of Nun hmm. Moses' minister Hmm. saying Moses my servant is dead okay now after the death of Moses the servant of the lord so he was still a servant of the lord and there was still a moment of death yet he was called the servant of the lord So just because he was servant of the Lord didn't mean that he lived forever. Mm. There was a season in his life. In that at the end of that season you see him coming to a certain closure. Thank you Lord. It is very important for us to understand the perspective of God. If death was something that is always bad then he should not have allowed death to touch his servant yeah wow mm yeah so we, i think there is a need for us to change a perspective regarding what we see and consider as death mm-hmm. because In the world we live in death is very scary. It's true. Yeah. Yes. Yet we serve a god that overcame death. Yeah, come on. Yet we serve yeah. a god that has conquered yeah. death. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now when you see 
Christ who has conquered death that means that even in the old testament the death was conquered because the lamb was slain before the foundations Come of the on, earth it, yeah. Yeah. right from the book of exodus you see the signs of overcoming death because they 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 put the blood of the lamb mm. so so this information was not just available to new testament it was available to the people of the old wow. that they can overcome death yeah. come on because they had the principle of the lamb being slain Okay, that's why they put, they put the blood on the threshold of their house. Yeah. Okay, so we won't go into that today. But so, what is the perspective of God? Mm. This is critical for us, a child of God, to understand. Everything that is happening on earth, we must see it. through the eyes of the lord everything that is happening on earth we must see it through the eyes of, eyes the, lord. of the lord eyes of the lord very critical death in the world that we live in is termination mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. death in the natural world in the carnal world for them death is the end of something mm-hmm. yeah. death sounds scary yes because it it reminds them of an expiry date yeah. of someone yeah mm-hmm. yes but we are the people of the spirit we do not see things the way humans see that is the reason why the bible says we do not grieve like the world <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Come on. That's right. So it is looking right. at yeah. death and it's saying that you can only grieve like the world if you see death in the perspective of the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we do not see death in the perspective of the world. We see it through a different eye. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what is this about death that you do not grieve like the world? It has to be a different definition. because if death is a termination then we grieve over it like the world because they are going to a place where you cannot follow wow yeah yeah but we do not grieve like the world grieves because death is no more a place that you are going into that we cannot follow into mm. you are going into a greater place yes. mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to a greater yeah. glory to greater peace yes. mm-hmm. and we are people looking forward to yeah. being where you are <laughs> yes that's yeah. it yes <laughs> for us it is it is not a loss mm-hmm. for the world it is a loss yeah. but for a child of god the bible says it is not a loss it is a gain mm-hmm. yeah whether to live or to yeah. die it is a gain so that is the reason why the bible says we do not grieve like the world because a perspective of death is different mm-hmm. so then we need to um clarify and understand how we must then change a perspective of certain things that are very scary to the society today mm-hmm. so when you hear the word say moses my servant is dead dead as in has he stopped existing mm. good question yeah death as in what death as in where yeah. death as in to whom If you don't answer all those questions then you are now considering this information through the eyes of the world you have not considered this information through the eyes of the spirit because if you if you consider it through the eyes of the spirit you will see Moses went from glory to glory yet the part that ceases to exist 
is not the spiritual part. You agree with that? Yes. Agree, okay. Yeah. Theologically, we are on the same page. Yeah, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> the part that ceases to exist is his physical part. Yes. The part that does not continue mm. is not the spirit. It is his physical function. Wow. Mm. It is his physical leadership. it is his physical voice that has now ceased to exist over there so now they don't hear him the the way they used to hear him before they don't see him the way they used to see him before <laughs> yet there has been sightings of moses after hey ay 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 did you hear what i said yet yeah. there has been what sightings so if you look at moses later on throughout the scriptures you will see moses appear to them and you will see the transfigured moses yeah the glorious moses so if death was a termination how do you see moses again mm. Mm. yes ai rakho salata if death was a conclusion of something how is it that you yeah. see and even hear mm. moses after mm. that yeah that means that the death that they're talking about is a physical death yeah they don't see him in the physical anymore yet they can see him if their eyes are open in the spirit wow ai 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 yeah if their eyes were open in the spirit they don't see an end they see a continuation mm, yeah if anything now he's taken into a glorious place that is why matthew you will see the the how jesus talks about elijah mm. and you he, he he tells the people because they wanted to find out is if john was elijah I believe it is chapter 11 with 14 if i'm not wrong it talks about how if you will accept it is that he's telling the group of people he said if you will accept it this is elijah mm. if you will accept many that the, there is there is a certain information that comes to you that i cannot give to you because you don't have the capacity to accept it so so you, you, another time you will see jesus talking about it in uh, the gospel of matthew where he says i cannot s- there are things that they would ask him are you christ and then he would respond to them in saying that even if i say it you will not believe it so there are many scriptures you you see jesus saying there are information that i can give it to you but you don't have the capacity to receive that information you don't have the capacity your spirit is not ready for that information so even if i were to tell it even if you were to find it okay you are not able to digest it matthew 11:14 Indeed Jesus was talking to the disciples and everyone there and he said if ye will receive it this is Elias which was for to come okay that is a scary statement you can read that one more time pastor and if you will receive it and if you will receive it this is Elias so what about if you don't receive it wow what about if you don't receive it because Jesus is using words very carefully he's saying if you will receive it this is so then then we need to study that didn't elijah die yes didn't elijah what happened with elijah the bible talks about him being taken up mm-hmm. so physically is that considered death uh, wow <laughs> to the people that lived then was that considered as death or since he's taken up yeah okay so then if you see elijah reappear through the life of john mm. 
how does that work if this man was taken up mm-hmm. and then there is a man that arrives and the bible is referring to him as his name will be john am i right yes is that what the angel of the lord said yes. angel of the lord meets john's father zechariah and he's yes. telling him you will have a son mm-hmm. and his name will be elijah or john? Oh, john john so it's clear that john the baptist was given a name so it is not like there is a misunderstanding mm. yet jesus comes and talks about the guy that said his name was supposed to be john mm-hmm. ah wow and then he looks at that guy and he says that if you will receive he is elijah <laughs> who was to come wow. elijah who was to come if you will receive it this is the elijah wow we need to understand we need to understand the ma- mind of god mm. as much as you see the lord saying this is elijah majority of people would prefer to believe that he is john that is why he's saying if you will receive it this is elijah so how do you receive an information that is not seen in the natural yeah. Mm. yeah 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 that's good how do you receive an information that is not seen in the natural i'm sure i'm looking at john yeah. yet jesus is saying in the spiritual is elijah yeah now there is a verse that talks about he comes in the spirit of elijah and here you're saying he is elijah mm-hmm. because the spirit realm ah. is more important than the natural realm yeah. wow yeah. we have grown with natural realm being important it's true yeah but yeah. it's very clear the manner in which jesus sees he, he doesn't see the natural mm. he looks at the spiritual and he's declaring that as the important part and he's declaring that as the reality he's declaring the spirit as the substance not yeah. the natural as a substance for yeah. human beings it's the opposite but he's looking and saying this is elijah if you will receive it yeah. <laughs> if you will receive it that means there's a lot that has been given there's a lot that is being given to as a responsibility for our spirit man to grow because depending on how your spirit man grows you will see the same thing that somebody else sees and you will see something else yes that's yeah yeah ah. you shall not see death mm. you shall see life amen. amen 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 because there is hundreds of thousands of people that will look at the scenario of moses yeah. and then say moses is dead Yeah. but there is somebody else on the other side that have trained their spiritual eyes to not see what others are seeing yes. mm. but to see what god is seeing yes wow. and now they don't see mm. what people are seeing they're seeing life they're seeing another dimension of the spirit mm. and the antorobo konia if the scripture is saying this is elijah yeah and we can't see elijah then there's a problem with how we are living a life that we have to be sorted out we are to receive dominion we cannot receive dominion if you're going to see this year through natural eyes mm. Yeah. If you're going to see things through natural eyes this year for you you will not have victory. No. You will see that which everybody else sees and everybody else is seeing death everywhere. Yeah. They're seeing limitations everywhere. Mm. Yeah. They're seeing issues everywhere. They're seeing problems, they're yeah. seeing trouble. <laughs> But 2022 you don't see life through the eyes of the world mm. now you're seeing life 
through the eyes of the spirit. Mm. Yes. And the eyes of the spirit does not see a termination. The eyes of the spirit is seeing a continuation. Amen. 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 I release continuation to you yes. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. You see, when a, a child is inside a mother's womb, for nine months, this child is fed through the umbilical cord. The best nutrients it can be fed with. It eats the best constant feeding constant care constant protection mm. there is nothing that is coming into the womb mm. the sac is protecting it from all the troubles around the world and then one day the sac breaks yes and the baby is pushed out into an environment it has never experienced before, into an environment that it has never tasted before, to the point where it starts its journey with crying. Wow. Crying because wow, yeah. it's shifting from a very comfortable environment and now suddenly is thrust into a very cold world. Mm. Inside its temperature was constantly protected. Mm -hmm. Now, it must be wrapped in a cloth. Yeah. Now, mm. there needs to be a shelter above his head. Yes. Mm. Now, there is an external protection that is required. Mm -hmm. Something that it, it was not needed before. But what the baby considers as mm. death. Mm. What the baby considers as termination of its world. What the baby considers as an expiry of his world. Is never an expiry. Yeah. It is a birth into a new chapter yes. Yes. into the baby's life. Yes. I'm bringing great perspective to spiritual yes. people that are listening to me. Thank you, Lord. If you are a spirit being listened to me, I want you to receive this word. This word is going to shift any time you are exposed to a new world, exposed to new challenges, new environment, challenging environment, scary environment. Mm. Oh my God, this is what you need to understand. When the baby is born, okay, mm -hmm. nine months it was an expert inside the womb. Now the baby is born, it has to learn everything from the scratch. Yes, yes, yes. yeah. In this new dimension, that it is being exposed to. It has to learn everything from the beginning. In this new dimension now, it has to learn to speak. It takes about a year and a half for it to start learning how to use the legs. Yes, yes. It didn't need all that. It, it's, it's completely new environment. It has to learn to speak words. Starts with pa 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 ma ma ma. <laughs> it, it, it has to start. Hey, this intelligent being that was growing perfectly, it didn't have any needs whatsoever. Now it is thrust into a new environment, and in the new environment, it has to learn everything all over in a new level. Yeah. So, child of God. This year, when you are thrust into places that you've never been before, when you're thrust into challenges that you've never challenged before, when you are thrust into an environment that is very cold, you're looking and saying, man, I miss the warmth of my mama. I miss the love and affection of my mama. These, this world is too cold. People are too mean. Mm -hmm. yeah. They are very rude. They don't care about me. They want to step over me. They want to pull me down. It's a, it's a cold, cold world. I want you to then remember this word. When you're pushed into a new realm, it is not the death of you. It is the beginning of you. Amen. Wow.
Yes. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it all over the place. I receive it, Lord. This year is not the death of me. Yes, 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 yes. This year is the beginning of a new chapter for me. Thank you, Jesus. So no matter what is looking scary and no matter what looks like solitary because this child was so comfortable inside now it's thrust into it starts crying where am i who am i who is going to take it who is going to feed no 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 you don't need to worry about all that because Jesus has said he has already overcome the world yes that he's pushing you into Distance is not a barrier to God. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services.